Hey there. I know this is a super silly time for me to be here, but I was going to do this recording and I thought, oh, I'll just pop it up on Facebook and if you can see it live, awesome. If not, it'll be recorded and I will get it shared with you. Um, I've had some questions about how to get the SVG out of the classroom and what do you do with it. So I'm going to do a really quick video on how it all works. So here's the mechanics of it. First things first, let's go into Design Space. So when you come into Design Space, you're going to upload. So you've already figured out that you're going to download, save the SVG file that I've shared from the classroom. The trickiest part, remember, I said is where did I keep it? So you're going to remember where you saved it. And you're going to upload an image. This is looking at your computer. So when I say browse, it's going to go look at my computer. If I had it in um, in a remote little drive, like a flash drive that I showed a picture of, like this one, if you put it on a flash drive, then that's where it's going to be. If you've kept it on your desktop, that's where it is. I have a folder that I do them each month and I save them. So I'm going to grab, this is the one from last night. And it looks kind of funky. It doesn't really look like much of anything or what it's going to be. We don't really know. And actually, this isn't last night, but it's another one. I'm going to make sure that it says simple. Okay. It has to say simple here so that when I go to search for it later, it will come up. And this has two photos and two spaces. So maybe I'll say four photos. So now I know that that's what it can hold. So when I'm searching, I can find that tags are things that you might search for. So you could say something like a scrapbook, a simple, four photos, vertical photos, things that you might search for when you're in design space looking for an image. This is the only time that you can touch the tags, that you can add tags to it. Okay? All right, cool. Now you come to this and you think, okay, where'd it go? It's right here. So just click on that, bring that into Design Space, and poof, there it is. Notice it comes in selected. Hey, Deborah. And see where it says 11.49, 11.49? That's the full size of the entire simple. The good news about that is Cricut can cut up to 11.5. So this is going to just simple go right to my machine. I don't have to do anything. I don't have to modify it. I don't have to do a single thing except say make it. Cricut's going to pop it over on the screen onto the mat and that's what it's going to look like. I'm going to say continue and I need to figure out how my computer can talk to my, I'm using a maker. Part of the problem with my particular setup is it often doesn't know when I use Bluetooth and my laptop. It works absolutely fine with my iPad, but it really doesn't work that well when I'm using um, when I'm using just the USB. So I'm going to show you what I'm doing. I have a, a USB cord attached. Now, if you happen to have a newer MacBook that only has the little fire plug this size, you don't have a place to plug a USB, you can get this handy dandy little adapter at the MacBook store or the Apple store. And then you're just going to plug it right in on the side right here. Okay? Now, I do that when I'm using my laptop because it, it works better. So let's look up here and you can see now that since I plugged it in, it's looking and it can see, oh yes, it is a maker by USB. Then it comes up and it says, what are you going to cut this out of? I'm using Stampin' Up! 12 by 12 Whisper White, so I'm going to say medium cardstock. And now it wants me to load the tools and the mat. All right, so it just needs my basic blade and it wants me to load the mat. So here is my 12 by 12 cardstock. I'm going to pop that out. 
And I'm gonna put that on, I don't have a big space right here to show you, so I'm kinda doing this on my lap. But I wanted you to see. So, normally I would do this on a nice flat surface, so I'm not like trying to put this on in the air. But it's critical that you line that edge up right with the edge of the mat. You don't want any crooked anything. You wanna be sure that it's nice and straight all the way down around the edge. And then you're gonna load this in. This light's flashing. It sucks the mat in. And now over here, it's gonna pop up and it's gonna say, it knows that I'm using a maker. So it says I can do fast mode. Fast mode means that it goes a little quicker because it's not an intricate cut. And then come back over here and this is flashing now. So go ahead and cut it. It double checks to be sure that I have the tool I'm supposed to have. Comes back up, kind of touches the line, and then it's gonna go ahead and start cutting. And last night when I was talking to you, I said, remember there's lots of other things, mat uh, material still left on the mat, even though you have cut out your simple. So I wanted to show you that. So we're gonna let it actually cut. Doesn't take too long. And it's done. Pop it out. Now remember, when you take things off your mat, you are going to, and let me close this so it'll stay. You're gonna to wanna to take the mat away from the paper rather than the paper away from the mat. If I grab this and start pulling, it's likely it's gonna curl up. If I take it and flip it over and then pull this away, it comes away nice and neat. Make sure you don't rip anything. You kind of go slow. And then you have your simple, right? Two photos, two extras. This is the same one we used last night. I thought it was. And then I have these left over. So this is where I'm gonna cut my extra pieces to do my embellishment and my stamping. What I do when I take it off like this is I just rip these little tiny pieces and save you. Same with this, right? And it's just a quick little tear in there. Then I have that. That's my scrap pile. And then I'm gonna go ahead and build my embellishments out of it. Alrighty, I hope that helps. We'll see you again soon. Be sure to ask any questions that you might have when it comes to using your simples. I want it to be, well, simple.